Um, as you already said, I want to report about the e humanities workshop we had this year, the first time here at the SMW conference. The idea in the background was that a lot of different projects now in digital humanities use SMW. And we try to offer something like a hybrid forum for people who are interested in S SMW to use in digital humanities. So this was the idea in the background. I want just to report some things, make a short introduction to SMW in humanities and stick into the workshop and bring to you as the developers some feedback from the groups, what could be some needs of these kinds of use cases for SMW. Um, everyone knows the research process, it should be cyclic. Um, in humanities, it's a bit problematic, it's much more fuzzy. And the main point is that the real metadata schema you have usually at the end of the project. So the relevant objects, the relevant metadata change during the whole process. They are searching for objects, different kind of objects and their relations, how they can be represented. And at the end it's fixed, but at the beginning it's really fuzzy, not clear. But this is perfect for SMW and a great use case to really use these kind of possibilities as well in SMW. Um, the other part is that you have with it a semantic graph on the base. And so you can really um, bring together on a data level a lot of problems which are usually in humanities or digital humanities. The main thing is a division between qualitative approaches and quantitative approaches. You have the same graph so you can use both worlds and address both worlds. So, in a way, you can use existing digital books or other material which are available today. This is an example of a project with use, which uses educational lexica. They have already a lot of established standardized uh, interfaces at libraries. A classical one is the OAI interface. It has an XML schema in the background, the MetsMods format. And you can integrate the data and offer already the researcher the kind of structure of the book where the image, the article is embedded in and as well additional information like um, who is the author, publication date, publication location. And so these are really interesting part for the researcher and really dig from or jump or balance between the two worlds of qualitative and quantitative research. The main part is then for them to dig as well deeper into the text or the image itself. Martin already said that they need interlacing annotations, they call it sometimes codings, and this is really a still big problem, but it's a good possibility to connect as well these annotations with the graph and offer the classical stuff of semantic media wiki to extend the graph to further entities, bring over there as well I think it is, using the semantic forms further entities like the person who is probably described on the lexicon article, and so you can really enlarge the graph. The researcher can browse semantically through the graph, here's the lexica where they can go through, they can aggregate the data in a person sheet and really present the different kind of data which are available in um, the person or at, at the person wiki or as well ask the query, the, the, the graph, and represent it in different outputs. So this is, in a way, the classical possibility which offers SMW. We had a range of presentations at the workshops. In the beginning, really show what is possible. And in the second part, the idea was really that the different persons can articulate their ideas. They can bring their data, and we can really consult them, speak about what kind of possibilities are over there with SMW. We had four speakers. Martin was as well presenting over there uh, his project, a further project about um, a reference collection in the area of literature studies. Dennis was over there from Netherlands. He presented a Celtic portal, which was called Codec. We had uh, Wahed and Tolga from the University of Frankfurt they used natural language processing to really bring more data into the media wiki. It's not in semantic media wiki yet, but they said that they want to address this as well to bring an extension to SMW. 
And the last was from our background, seven kinds of virtual research environment in the educational research context, ranging from educational lexica over textbooks, Google magazines, or as well um, classroom interactions. What have been the main feedback of the discussions? Um, we already heard that data integration is a point, so coming from TEI, there are existing standardized formats in XML, there is Psydoc CRM, it's the OIE interface over there. It would be great to have a possibility to use them. We saw yesterday the um, presentation of Daniel Harnisch. I saw an export of Psydoc CRM on the button on the page, so it would be great if this could be available as well in the SMW community to use these possibilities over there. Result formats would be great to have further possibilities to analyze the text. NLP is a classical topic. A main problem for the researcher is really the need to rename and rearrange the ontology concerning categories, properties. Um, the HALO extension was existing some, some years ago, so there is, I think, or I don't know of a solution which addresses that. And Martin already mentioned the problem with interlacing annotations in text, which are still a problem, or image annotation. I know we had one, but it needs to be um, updated to the current version. We try to do this in the next month. And the last point was complex ask queries. But we had um, yesterday from Carson and Jerome the feedback about the next upcoming SMW and that there will be hope for using as well complex ask queries to use as well distant properties on different multiple hoppings over there. So thanks for doing this already or starting to do, do this. This is a short feedback from the workshop. It has been around 25 people over there, really a mixed group from librarians over to SMW experts and researchers from different contexts. And let's see if we can follow up these kind of workshops next year or somewhere else. Thanks a lot.